Good day. So I will be preparing my hiking backpack. So I have my REI backpack and then I will sort all of this into here. Uh, from lightest at the bottom to heaviest at the top. And also the most, uh, the most needed um, accessible things that you need quickly, all that kind of stuff. So let's start with the, so right here we have five pairs of disposable gloves. If you see me looking down here, it's because I've already made a list and where I'm supposed to put them all. So this goes over here because you never know when you're going to need disposable latex gloves. So latex gloves are here and then plastic bags. These are just simple plastic bags. Also with the gloves. So oh, this is actually pretty creative. So you'd be like, what are you gonna do with an elastic cloth? Well, you can use it as a tourniquet. So you, let's say that you're bleeding out. You're bleeding out very, very bad. Like you're gonna die of blood loss. So you tie this around your arm tightly. Tightly. It has to be tight. Because if you don't tighten it up, the blood will keep rushing out. So you tie that up, preferably with someone who's with you, because tying it up on your own would be very, very hard. And rule number one is don't hike alone. That should be common knowledge, and also the woods are very scary by yourself. But that's just me. And maybe a lot of other people, I don't know. Anyways, so we will also put this at the side, because... It's very important to have this accessible. Bungee cord. This is a bungee cord. Uh, pretty elastic. You can hook these on both sides, all that stuff. So we will also put this here, just because. So this is what is called a quick link. I'm sure many of you have seen it. You might not have known the name, but it's called a quick link. So you can put, you can easily put a quick link over here. And then what I like to bring is a Master Hunt. This is from Cold Steel uh, Master Hunter. It's a very, it's a very good knife. You can use it for uh, wood, all that stuff. Very, it's a very versatile knife. So yeah, knives are very, very important in the woods. Th this is a durable knife. This isn't like pathetic, uh, brittle kitchen knife. No, 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 no. These are durable and they're um, quite expensive. Oh, yeah. A little. So I'll just hook this up over here. Alright, so we, we've we hooked it up to the, um... Yeah, we got it over here. Left hand side. Over here. So, on the right side... Wait, I'm not quite sure there. But... So this, this rope is very, very special. This rope is, uh, it's, it's more of a cord because it's, a uh, thin. It's very thin. It's, um, one-eighth inch. So, this is Dyneema. Dyneema is the strongest rope in the world, or strongest cord. The molecular bonds in this are very strong. Alright, so we'll just put this at the, uh, right side. Because you might need rope. Very important. This is the heavy duty quick link. So take a look at that. This is what mountaineers use, so yeah, pretty uh good stuff. Look look at how thick that is. That's that's like solid metal there, man. That's like really this is really good, really durable, all that stuff. So I will hook it up to here and then from here we we have a wood saw. This is a wood saw, you know, you never know when you're gonna have to uh Cut down some branches, start a fire. So, just hook that up over here. Got that. And then I also bring a, a smaller knife. This is a, a mini Pendleton from Cold Steel. It's uh, pretty tiny, pretty cute. For the uh, much smaller things. Why do you bring two different knives? Uh, different tools for different jobs, you know? You can't use a hammer for something very delicate or you know you get the point 
So, quick link that over here. Easy. Easy peasy. Gatorade. I will also put it over here. Because, well... Gatorade. Thirst Quencher. <laughs> Not sponsored. But Gatorade, if you want to. Sponsor me. I know you got a lot of money. A couple thousand wouldn't. Give me some money. Come on. Money, money, money. <laughs> Alright, who am I kidding? Okay. So I'll also put this here. Oh, by the way, the latex gloves are not sterile. Don't use them for surgery or anything crazy like that. But we're probably not going to be doing surgery anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. But it's good to know. It's very good to know. So, moving on to the front pocket. This is what I'm gonna fill up next. So, in the front pocket. Okay, so this is really cool. So, this is a SOL uh, heavy duty emergency blanket. So, it's like, a, it's like a really, really good tarp. So, just stick that in here. Now, I know everyone likes to be fancy about. I can start a fire with the uh, bowstring, all the very simple things, like with your hands, all that stuff. Why suffer? You don't need to suffer. The world is hard enough. Bring a ton of lighters. You'll see more lighters in the next minute. So this is a pry bar. It's about 12 inch. It, it is 12 inches long. So, this is good for uh, just like prying things open, small things, not like, I don't know, something massive. <laughs> so, we'll also put that in here. This is 60 by 90, 60 by 96 inches, and then 7.9 ounces. So, in the top pocket, my top pocket is this one over here. So, you can open this up over here here you can put your stuff in here that's really good really important okay here it is so this is very this is very very important that you put these in a ziploc bag because all of these could ruin the stuff in your pack you get off lotion on your stuff ruined alcohol ruined petroleum jelly absolutely ruined chapstick oily ruined vix ruined so keep stuff in a ziploc bag very very important you don't want your stuff to get wet oily disgusting Ugh. no 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 okay put this in the top over here we also have a folding knife folding knife mini griptilian very very cool no looking. Very cool. It's uh, also very smooth, so uh, that's nice. Folding knife. It's a Benchmade Mini Griptilian, about a um, 3.5 inch blade. So I'm gonna put this in the top over here. There we go. Flashlight. Very important. That's why it's at the top. Easy access. You don't want it at the bottom. And you'll have to reach into your entire pack. Or at least try. So yeah, keep all the accessible stuff at the top. Trust me on this. Please. Okay, let's start with the main compartment. So the main compartment is over here. Middle, where all your stuff is gonna be. The majority of your stuff in here. So this is a plastic cup and it also has an oven mitt inside. So that when you're boiling your water and all that good stuff. So just put this down there, and this is really cool as well. So this is a Sawyer water filter, so you put your water in here, and then you can like squeeze it out, and then it goes through this filter, filters it all out. Really, really good design. So I'll put this at the bottom. My metal cup and my water. 
and then another bottle of water because they hydrated everyone, especially for a two hour hiking trip. These are, um, these are used in the military. They're called meal ready to eat or MREs. So no need to cook them, although heating them, you just put them in um, boiling water. Don't like open it, but like, like watch this. Wait. So this is it. That's it. Good stuff. So you have it in a pot of warm water, boiling water. You just put it in there and uh, wait a couple minutes. This is some uh, really high grade plastic, um, so yeah, it's uh, it, you won't damage it. You won't damage your food that way. And these have a really, really, really long shelf life. I'm talking four years and more. This stuff does not expire. It's vacuum sealed. No germs are getting in this. Although, do always check. If it's bulging, do not eat it. If it's bulging, that means bacteria has been in there, released gas, inflates it. No, 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 no. So, uh, yeah, I can't feel any air bubbles in this at all. So I have, I have beef stew with potatoes. I have pinto bean stew with ham. And I have chicken gumbo. So these are, they all sound like really good meals. And I have had these before. Yeah, we do have cases of MREs. So, yeah, they, they do taste good. They're very, very, very good. So I'll put these down here. Trash bags are very important. You might have wet clothes or you want to bring something with you. Uh, this is so that you don't get anything else wet or to protect something. Maybe you have a camera. Trash bags, bring them. Come on. They don't take up that much space. They're, uh... Also, buy the heavy duty ones. You don't want a hole in your trash bag and then whatever you wanted to not get wet does get wet. So you put your trash bags in here. Face masks. We all know these are very, very important. And they can also work as a bit like dust masks. Um, filter out some of the dust. So uh, yeah. So we have nylon cord or... Yeah, nylon cord. So very, very useful. Tying things down, all that good stuff. And then we have a Lipton tea. Hello? Okay, focus. Alright, so, uh, yeah, maybe you wanna, maybe you wake up and you're like, you know what, I wanna start my day with tea. Why not? It's a great, it's delicious. Tea is nice. I'm not a coffee guy. I, I really hate bitter coffee. And I don't want to get cof coffee addicted when I'm 14. Maybe when I'm older. Then I might become a coffee addict, but not when I'm 14. So a space blanket is... There's two sides. There's the orange side, and then there's the mirror side. So the mirror side, that reflects heat. So you can put the mirror side on the inside. Like you wear like, um, like a towel or something. And then your heat, your body heat radiates and it gets bounced back. So that keeps you, that keeps you warm. And it's used in cold weather. I wouldn't use that because I'm in the tropics. I live in the Philippines and it's very, very hot. I would have the mirror side on the outside and I have tested this. It really does work and gives some really good shade. You can hang it on some trees. Very, very good. So I'll put this down here. So I'm also going to have some uh, baby wipes. So put some baby wipes down there, and then another mini Pendleton, it's the, uh, it's the small knife, you know, one in each compartment, I'm joking, not really, I'm not really joking, we actually do have it in each compartment. There's one in here, one in here, actually there's, there's, <gasps> ah, there's two here. And, uh, yeah. Wait. Okay, next. Sunglasses. Sunglasses are very important. You're hiking. It's bright outside. 
you don't want to hurt your eyes. You don't want to keep squinting and you can't see what's going on. You maybe trip on a rock, break your arm. Very bad stuff. Wear sunglasses so you can open your eyes fully and see the world. I can show you the world. <laughs> uh, anyways, now we have a uh, pot. But there's something in it. There's so you use a washcloth or cloth or anything so that it doesn't it doesn't rattle a lot. Without this cloth, it'd be a lot lot more noisy. So in here you have an uh, alcohol stove. So you get this uh, aluminum, and then you like shape that out into a little circle, and you put that in the middle. You fill alcohol around it and inside it, and then you light it. And then I've tried this. It boils water. It, it actually, it really does work. Put your pot, pan, whatever. It does work. So we don't we don't use regular alcohol. We use denatured alcohol. So what denatured alcohol is, you know, it's like when you use on um uh, New Year, you know, the flying tiger in the um uh, black um plastic bottles. You know what? I'll get it for you. I'll get it. This. Ring any bells? Yeah? Pretty sure you've seen this before. So this is denatured alcohol. It's uh, a lot more stronger than regular alcohol. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, 3 liters, but of course you don't need that much, especially for a two-day hiking trip. I'm gonna put this back. Denatured alcohol. Oh, and, and, and another lighter. Can't go wrong with lighters. The more the merrier, unless if they're all lit and you're inside, um, a gas station. And then it might not be so good. So in here is your fork, your spoon, all the good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just a fork and a spoon in here. And wrapped in a paper towel because you don't want it to get dirty. Or the fork to puncture the uh, Ziploc. This is coffee made. This is coffee made bullion cubes and sugar so yeah and then can't forget Gatorade thirst quencher please sponsor me <laughs> uh, so yeah more Gatorade because you know you might have friends over you should you should go with friends on a hiking trip please come on don't be lonely so, you might have friends over, and they may, they may have a huge pitcher of water. Just pour the entire thing. This entire thing can fill up, um... This entire thing fills up a gallon. So you got a gallon of Gatorade all in here. Plus the water, of course. You need water for a gallon, obviously. This is big brain time. Brain. Alright, next, we have the headlamp. So the headlamp is the best flashlight of all because you can just wear it like this and you can use both of your hands on whatever you're trying to do. Trying to repair stuff under the car and you're trying to see what you're doing. You don't have and so they can spare the kid from holding the flashlight. I know that all of you have tried that at least once where your dad is like hold the flashlight steady. Now he can wear it himself. So yeah, headlamps are really useful. Just remember to change the batteries every now and then so that they're um, so that they still have the juice in them. So so yeah, headlamps really really useful. I suggest that you buy one. And then of course our alcohol stove. Oh wait, oh yeah, <laughs> I almost forgot. We got four more lighters. Four more lighters, baby. <sighs> It didn't break. It didn't break. Okay, it didn't break. Four lighters, and then oh yeah, we have we have another metal cup in here. So alcohol stove, lighters, cute little pot, and the cover of course, and then a bowl for soup. You have bullion cubes. Maybe your friends brought some noodles. Make some soup. So put that in there. Alright. Next. Toiletries. 
Hygiene is very important, especially when you want to get a little bit away from civilization. So here I got my toothbrush, toothpaste, and uh, a chunk of soap. Why did you not take the full chunk? You think you can finish it all in two days? I wouldn't. So yeah, just take a chunk of soap. No need to bring the entire thing. Of course you could if you wanted to. And then we got some more rope because the more the merrier. Although if it's very heavy, please don't bring too much. You might hurt your back and back problems are very expensive. And then we have a uh, cotton uh, cord. So cotton is different from nylon because it grips a lot better. So when you tie a knot, it won't slip out as easily. So that's the uh, pros of cotton, cord, all that good stuff. But yeah. So, wire saw. This is a, uh, you know, so you like, you can like throw it over a branch. That's the cool thing. It's like a throwable saw. You can you can literally like, like, put a, put a paper towel on the one side so you can hold it, and then throw it over a branch, and then you can just, and then the branch falls down. You got your firewood. Very very smart idea. Next. So let's let's go with the uh, first aid kit. This will be more on the top because, well, you want it to be accessible in case if someone does get hurt, you can just whip out your uh, first aid kit. So, first aid kit, I won't go into too much detail because this video will be even longer than it already is. I'm very sorry, Mom J, that you had to watch this entire very long... I'm a prepper, okay? I'm Prepper John. Prepares for disaster, prepares for hiking. Yeah, so, yeah, you even got a first aid book in here, so that you know what you're doing, and then you got your... It's too tiny, basically. But it's got everything. It's got bandages, Neosporin, um, a couple... A couple of, uh, painkillers. But yeah, trust me, you got everything in here. And then there's also some... I forgot to say this, forgot to say this. But there's uh, also bandages in here. I didn't show them. I didn't notice until I put But there's bandages in here. There's bandages, okay? Bandages, very important. Very accessible. Easy, open, close. Get your bandages. So we also got some citrizin. Very important. These are, um, tums. These are an antacid. So we have them in a uh, bubblegum container because, well, the container is a uh, tin and it's uh, pretty good. Not gonna lie. So, uh, recycle, you know? But it's, it's Earth Day recycle. Um, use whatever you can. We have this and it works really, really well. So you can put your medicine, all that stuff. Just make sure to label it. You don't want anyone going, I want to have some bubble gum, I want to have, especially with children. So, label everything. And of course, we got our tweezers. Can't go wrong with tweezers, you need to pull something out, some splinter, or anything, to be honest. Tweezers. And then we have uh, a notebook. Another, another lighter, and then we have a fire starter. Fire starter is really, really cool. And then box cutter, or just the cutter, and then uh, two pencils, and the lighter, and a notebook, of course. So what's really cool about this is, wait a sec, I'll get it out for you. So this fire starter, oh, it's just an ordinary fire starter. But wait, there's more. You can shave off this e this uh, area, and then this actually um, it starts the fire. It's like um, very combustible, so you can just get a couple of these shavings, and then you get your the back side of your knife, 
<laughs> I'm not gonna do a demonstration. I might burn this entire place up. I'm not that careless, but I don't want to risk it. So, easy as that, just shave a little bit off with the back of your knife, and then using the back of your knife, please use the back of your knife, not the front. You'll destroy, you'll destroy the blade if you use the front. Please do not. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Fire started, really important. Although I have a ton of lighters, I probably won't use it. But it's better to be prepared. If your lighters aren't working or they got wet somehow, can't go wrong with this. And we have another fire starter over here. This one's the just the regular rod. You know what? I'll try to do a little demonstration. So I, I'm I'm gonna keep a close watch, make sure that none of it falls on here and catches anything on fire. So you know. So this is just like a. This is like a hacksaw blade, but you just dull it down a bit. Because you don't need that sharp edge, but you do need... It's not sharp. It's not like... It's not like I'm going to bleed or anything because you, like, grind it down. All that good stuff. So, all you need is a, um... So, yeah, that's it. Fire starter in. Now, on for my pack, the weight distribution isn't that critical because they're all really similar weights except for like the really small stuff but the really small stuff that just goes to the bottom anyways it goes through all the crevices it's not that critical and then here we have a um this is a bivy sack but it's not what uh mom jahara explained it's um it's just like a blanket it's just like a blanket that's that's it it's not like a tent and a a sleeping bag but yeah this is a um, over here bivy you know i'll just reverse this video in post so over here you got needle and thread maybe your uh, friend's pants got ripped or yours <laughs> so Make sure to put the needles in something that I won't come out of. So in here, it's wrapped in paper and then into a tube and then the thread. No problem there. But yeah, you have to make sure that your needles aren't going to be poking around anywhere because... Come on. Respect the pack. Uh, respect the pack. Make sure that you don't puncture this beauty. So, needles thread in we got some working gloves these are reusable of course you can't just throw these after one use and then this this can be your uh, makeshift tent what what do you mean you can just hang it on two trees or something hang on a couple of trees it's a plastic drop cloth. You use it for painting. For painting your house. Make sure that your other stuff doesn't get painted. All that good stuff. And then here we have the sleeping bag. Very chunky, right? You might be like, oh, it's small. Yeah, it, I, had a, I had a little bit of a hard time fitting, fitting it into here. But it is a full-size sleeping bag. And uh, yeah, it's very compressed. The thing is, you don't want to store it in this small bag for long periods of time. This is for carrying it to uh, hiking, that kind of stuff. This is the uh, storage bag. So the storage bag is way bigger, a lot, lot, lot bigger. So because you don't want it to be constantly compressed because the next time you take it out, it won't be fluffy. So I have my clothes in here. I got two underwear and then one pants, and then two shirts. And then we also have, now here we have, we have money. It's not, it's just a couple of hundreds. And then we also have copies of uh, passports in here. And then there's a list of phone numbers for uh, your relatives, cousins, all that good stuff. And your parents. Yeah. So. 
carry some cash with you anywhere you go, but don't take all of it. Don't take like your entire bank account's worth. But uh, yeah, in here, and then. <laughs> Ugh! Three more lighters! And scissors. Cause, you know, why not? Uh oh. I'm gonna quickly change the uh, Ziploc bag for this. Cause as you can see, the scissors clearly went through. There's a, uh, there's a hole right here. So I will change that real quick. Okay, so I have changed the Ziploc bag. And then my drop cloth, I will put that in here. And then my shoes over here. So these are, these are shoes. You can use these for going hiking, whatever you know, man. Shoes, very important. Don't, don't go hiking in high heels or slippers or Crocs. Wear shoes, hiking shoes, hiking boots, whatever. So, just lock this up real good. Doesn't have to be all the way. Because, as you know, there is a cover. So, the bag itself is pretty waterproof. With the exception of dropping it fully into the ocean or a river. But, it is rainproof. So, it, if it your stuff won't get wet if it gets rained on. But, just for safety... Put your clothes in a trash bag so that if it does get into the ocean, it doesn't get wet. Because wet clothes suck. So I'll just lock this up nice and snug. And then my sleeping bag over here. And then you can just tie your sleeping bag on the outside. I'll do that real quick. So, a really nice feature is this uh, belt. So there's like a belt here, and then you can put that on. Right. I'm gonna loosen it up a bit, because I'm fat, just kidding, I'm not fat. So this helps the uh, pack rest on your hips instead of all on your shoulders. Which is really, really good because you don't want all the weight on your shoulders. So watch this. I'll like lean back. I'll like, but it, I, it's it's more on my uh, hips now because of this uh, belt. And another good thing, another good thing. This is what's called a hiker's staff. So let's say you're on the ground. You got your back on. Uh, you got your pack on. And you just need something to support you. So you just, you know. So, this is a good, this is like a trekking pole. But, combined, I'm joking. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is called a hiker's staff. Similar use to a trekking pole. You know. Gives you the extra support that you need. It's not just your legs. Now your hands can help you as well. And, um... You may think that the pack is heavy. Well, let me show you something really, really cool. Wow! Most of the weight is supported by that wheel and is um, supported also by my shoulders and my hips. So now, weight isn't so much of a problem. Problem solved!